do 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 Hello and welcome to the football. Today we're going to bring you all the action from the 2021 season of the English Premier League, Championship, League One and League Two. Our makeshift football track will be hosting four races that will predict the final table of each of the four English football leagues. The 92 teams competing will be represented by different marbles that will attempt to navigate this course. Starting with a football memorabilia pinball, followed by a Subutio slalom. Then round the corner to face the referees, who will threaten a red or yellow card that might slow them down. Then they'll make their way onto the training ground and have to choose between the authentic grass track or the super cool 5G synthetic grass. Then it's through the player's tunnel into the stadium and onto our final hurdle, the football funnel. We're kicking off with League 2, so it's time to find your favourite team or even just pick your favourite marble. And if you really don't care who wins League 2, then sit back and enjoy the ride and treat this as a practice run, so you're familiar with the course for when your team competes. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And it's Crawley Town off to a flying start. Colchester just behind them, but a little slip allowed Salford City to come up into second. Here come Walsall, Bradford City too. Colchester all alone down on that bottom line, but it doesn't seem to be doing them any favours. And the pack only just catch up with Crawley, and Salford City now take the lead. Bradford up to second, and look at Port Vale, a wonderful run of form. But just as I say that, they run into trouble with the referee. And Salford must also have had discipline troubles, as Bradford now lead, followed by Colchester. It's very tight mid-table there. As we return to the top of the table, there's been another lead change. Colchester now in front, followed by Bradford, then Salford, then Crawley and Newport. It's hardly surprising to see these lower league teams preferring the grass track. Proper football. There's a bit of daylight now between the top two and the rest of the pack as they make their way through the stadium into the final football funnel. A nasty knock for Salford allows Crawley to get in front. Newport and Trammy are chasing too. Exeter, Walsall, Southend and Bolton Wanderers with some good momentum. Can they break into the promotion spots? Down at the other end of the table, there's a real scramble here to get away from a potential relegation battle. Things are tightening up though, so it could be anyone's race. And that anyone just happens to be Newport County. They get the drop first and win the League 2 title. Salford City, a strong season all the way through, finished second. And quite the opposite for Barrow, who started slow but grew and grew into the season and finished third to clinch the final automatic promotion place. Port Vale, with some moments of brilliance during this race, finished fourth. And they'll be joined in the playoffs by Bradford City, Stevenage and Exeter City. Colchester United only just dropping now. So after being in the top two for most of the race, they end up with a disappointing 13th place finish. Our attention turns now to the battle to avoid relegation out of the Football League. It's just the bottom two that go down from League Two. At the moment that looks to be Mansfield Town who are stuck in the stadium. Plus one other from this funnel. Leighton Orient appear to have secured survival. So it's down to Cambridge and Morecambe. Cambridge certainly looking the healthier of the two teams. Morecambe just can't quite seem to find what they need to survive here. And Cambridge make the drop. There is still a chance to overtake in the funnel. We saw that with Port Vale and Bradford. But unfortunately, Morecambe just don't have what it takes to survive this league. And so they'll be joining Mansfield Town next season in the Nationwide Conference. Or whatever it's been called since the 1990s. <sighs> Come on, Morecambe. There they go. They take their 23rd place in the table. And as the final whistle blows, we'll get confirmation of those final standings that see Newport County win the league, joined by Salford and Burrow in their promotion spots, with Morecambe and Mansfield being relegated. Stay tuned for League One up next after this brief fade to black. Hello and welcome back to the makeshift Marble Runs coverage of the English Football League. Next up is League One. This may be the third tier of English football, but there are plenty of big clubs here and lots of Premier League experience. So this is sure to be a fiercely competitive race. What an electric start from Blackpool, who bangs straight into a football. And Plymouth Argyle take the lead. Get on you, Janner! 
And as they have their own problems, it's Gillingham who storm into first place just ahead of Northampton Town, with AFC Wimbledon in third, being chased by rivals MK Dons alongside Sunderland, but it's Portsmouth who move up to fourth. These referees are having a real impact on this race. How unlike a referee to interfere. Gillingham have escaped with just a yellow, but it's a straight red for Northampton, Crewe, Sunderland, and Fleetwood who have just overtaken Charlton. In fact, everyone's overtaken Charlton, the naughty boys. Gillingham looking to extend their lead, but Wimbledon and Crewe will not let them go. Portsmouth and Northampton have tried their luck on the 5G pitch. I'll be interested to see how that works out for them. And not too well. They both lose a lot of momentum, but not as much as Sunderland, who crash into the side and plummet down the table. Peterborough make the same mistake, and Accrington Stanley give them a nudge to make sure, as do Doncaster. Swindon are getting in on the action as well. Peterborough have taken a real beat in there. Swindon have ended up in the stands. Do we have another Mansfield Town on our hands? No, I think they're going to manage to get back on the pitch and head towards the funnel, which is getting very crowded now. But it's Sunderland who separates themselves from the crowd to finally get themselves promoted out of League One. Hull City finished a close second. And now they're all dropping. The playoffs will be made up of Accrington Stanley, Crew, MK Dons and Burton Albion. Portsmouth just missing out finishing in 7th place. Looking at the bottom half of the table now, there are 4 teams relegated from League 1, so there's no room for error here. There are still 2 marbles left on the track, so the next 3 will survive. And as I say that Wimbledon and Wigan both safe. And now Gillingham, who led for so much of the race, and I think were even first into the funnel, only just narrowly survive relegation and cling on to their place in League One for the next season. Relegation confirmed for Oxford United, a second successive controversial relegation for Charlton Athletic, and Northampton Town also relegated. Now let's take a look at our final team, Bristol Rovers didn't even get off the start line of this race, which means that their club will go into administration and be expelled from the Football League. That is such a shame. Oh, really such a shame. But congratulations, Sunderland. We look forward to seeing the behind the scenes of this race on Netflix. Next up is the Championship, with a place in the Premier League up for grabs. Just take a moment now to familiarise yourself with your team's marble to make sure you can keep track of where they are along this race. And that is such a close start. This really is a fiercely competitive league. Very little separating top from bottom. A few of them beginning to find their rhythm now. Sheffield Wednesday out in front now. Bournemouth, Norwich are up there and Barnsley surging forward. Nottingham Forest and Watford also pushing those front few. Millwall keeping up the pressure as well. But surprise, surprise, they're foiled by the referees. Norwich are building a healthy lead down the middle there. Nottingham Forest not far behind. And Reading have found a good run of form. A lot of teams are getting caught up by these red cards. And there's all sorts of overtaken and such. Swansea City fly past Preston North End, who themselves overtake Huddersfield. We're back to the front of the race now as Norwich continue to lead. Nottingham Forest behind with Sheffield Wednesday and Bournemouth also keeping pace. What a strong front four that is. And Sheffield Wednesday take to the stands as they come through the stadium, but recover well. And you can see any one of those four win in this race. But they'll have to make the advantage count as Rotherham, Wickham, Reading and Coventry enter the stadium. As do QPR, Barnsley, Birmingham and Brentford. Bournemouth, Norwich and Wickham have all got their fingertips on the trophy, but it's Bournemouth who snatch it just ahead of Wickham to win the championship and book their place in next season's Premier League. Wickham Wanderers with a fantastic first season in the Championship join them. I'm not quite sure what's happened to Coventry City who made the drop third, but they slipped behind Nottingham Forest, Sheffield Wednesday and Swansea City and only just about hold on to that final playoff position ahead of Watford, who would have been many people's favourite to win this league, but they'll have to settle for a second season in the second tier. Norwich fall all the way down to 13th, just ahead of Bristol City. And I can't help but wonder whether Bristol City, had they listened to our marbles and appointed Mick McCarthy as their manager, may have finished much higher. Luton Town clinch safety, which leaves just one more place. 
with Middlesbrough way back on the track somewhere. Reading, Birmingham and Preston North End in trouble. And it's Birmingham who make the drop and surely now are safe. Yes, they are. Reading finish in 22nd. Preston North End can at least take some solace in avoiding the prestigeless honour of finishing bottom. And here come Middlesbrough finally joining the party. Though it won't be any kind of party for them as they look forward to the prospect of League One football next season. Just waiting for the formality now of a full time whistle so that we can get confirmation of this final table and can officially congratulate AFC Bournemouth on being crowned championship champions and for their immediate return to the Premier League. Congratulations also to Wickham Wanderers who've beat the odds and won back-to-back -back promotions. Time now for our main event as our next race will determine who will win the Premier League as well as who will finish second in the Premier League and who will finish third in the Premier League and who will finish fourth in the Premier League and oh, oh sorry we'll have to come back to that the race is underway. As it stands, all the marbles are going down this part of the track, some faster than others, but none faster than West Ham, who storm into the lead and out of the shot. Chelsea joins them out of shot, as does Aston Villa, and I think we may need a new cameraman. Although they did capture that lovely move from Newcastle weaving in and out of traffic, but then they get stuck behind Manchester United. And they go in for seconds, right under the referee's nose. That is so Geordie. Look at that astonishing lead for Leeds United. This race could be over before we've even cleared the referees. And to add shock to horror, it's Liverpool, last year's champions, who are currently bringing up the rear. Leeds get a little bit held up in the stadium, which allows Aston Villa and Chelsea to catch up. Man United and Everton are there too. Tottenham leading the rest of this pack, who surely now realise they need to up their game if they want to compete. Leeds United only get a one-spin advantage in the funnel in the end as Man United come and knock them out of the way, but it's Aston Villa who grabbed the title! What an emphatic way for Aston Villa to win their first ever Premier League title. A thoroughly deserved victory for a very strong race where they play to their strengths and let those around them do the hard work. Manchester United unlucky to only come in second, and Chelsea thoroughly deserved third. Tottenham snap up that final Champions League spot. And Leicester City have done a Bradford City as they dropped in fifth but get overtaken by Leeds who have a dream return to the Premier League and a return to European football next season too. There's high drama down the other end of the table too as both Liverpool and Manchester City are caught up in what is for them a very rare relegation battle. But Liverpool managed to beat the drop by making the drop as do Wolves and Fulham who actually overtake Liverpool in the end. But that does mean that Manchester City will be losing their Premier League status. Generally considered one of the favourites for this year's title. They've ended up finishing second from bottom behind Southampton and just ahead of Burnley. E by gum. Burnley clearly don't want to leave the Premier League. But I'm afraid at this point it is mathematically impossible or rather physically impossible for them to avoid relegation. Well, what a fantastic and unexpected season that turned out to be. The likes of which the Premier League has not seen since, well, since Leicester won it three years ago. But let that not detract from the wonderful achievement of Aston Villa, who have become the 2021 Premier League champions. Congratulations to Aston Villa, AFC Bournemouth, Sunderland and Newport County, our four league champions for 2021. What a truly spectacular celebration. Thank you for joining us. We hope you had fun and we hope you don't get upset when your team doesn't do as well as we predicted.